What's up folks, how you doing? My name is Carl Shakur. I'm a travel and lifestyle photographer and today I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into my workflow on how I shoot blue hour portraits using this guy, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, so first off, what even is blue hour? Blue hour is that brief window of time between total darkness and right before sunrise or right after sunset and the light is stunning. It's very beautiful. It usually has a very bluish cast on the environment. I'd suggest planning ahead so you can take advantage of all the light a little easier. Figure out your location beforehand, find out when blue hour starts in your area, and most importantly, get all your gear ready to go. When you're shooting blue hour, because it's so dark, you need a camera with a powerful lens and sensor. The Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 108 megapixel lens with the ability to shoot in RAW. This lets you capture more data and gives you a lot more control over all your settings. Okay, let me show you how I dial in my settings just right. First things first, right into Pro Mode so I can customize all my settings. I preferably like to keep the ISO under 800. See, when you're shooting at such a dark time of day, having your ISO set too high can add a lot of unnecessary noise to your photo, which we don't want. Then I'll adjust the shutter speed accordingly, making sure the scene is properly exposed. Okay, a feature on the phone that I really like is the focus peaking. Sometimes I switch the phone over to manual focus to make sure that the photos are tack sharp. Focus peaking lets you see exactly where your focus is. So if you're shooting in low light conditions, you're nailing the focus every single time. Okay, so we've got our settings dialed. Now I can talk about why I'm using the prism and the light panel. The light panel helps to pull the shape out of my subject because it's so dark. Look at that. All of a sudden, no light, red light. No light, red light. It looks <laughs> sick. As you can see here, we're getting some nice photos. This is where trick number two comes into play. I'm gonna pull out the prism. <laughs> Take a look at our, see that looks cool? Now I'm gonna bring the prism right in front of the frame and look what that does. It just absolutely makes it magical, like dazzles it. By tailoring our camera settings for blue hour, and bringing in some helpful gear, adding a dash of creativity with the prism and the light panel, we were able to capture this brief but beautiful moment in the day. 